Welcome back to Republic. Let's continue on with our mission of, I believe, getting to a data terminal of some sort so that we can elevate our privileges. Because there's a bunch of doors that are completely inaccessible to us at the moment. So we need to fix that. Also, I realized something. Before when I was clicking on this and I saw this pickpocket, the fact that I click on this and all these things pop up made me think that maybe I needed to like use pepper spray or one of these items to be able to pickpocket. But that's not what it means. I'm in pepper spray. Yeah, so this is just the currently equipped item. So I guess if I click on just anybody normally, then she'll pickpocket them? So I guess I can use it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use it only on, like, special targets, or if I can use it on any old guard, and, and if I did use it on any old guard, then what would I get? Maybe they'd have bits of information? I'm not sure. I've already, uh, gone inside of both of these rooms, by the way. This one is Hope's room, and this one is the, uh, the bathroom. Or maybe it's the other way around. No, no, this is the bathroom. Yeah, this is the place where I got that book. Unless... Oh, maybe the save was from before I got the book. Is that not in my inventory? Uh, let me check my inventory. Oh, yeah, it's not here. All right, let's go grab it. All right. In fact, maybe I should try to pickpocket this guy. There's a pris rack. I know. Come on. No, don't run. Don't run. Jesus Christ. Gonna play this game again. There you go. Let me go. Oh, shit. <gasps> Pepper spray. I oh. Oh, might as well pickpocket him. I'll check his pockets. Got it. There you go. I don't know what you got. You got something. Okay. Didn't exactly go to plan. Last time, I basically, like, rubbed up against him, and he never even noticed I was there. But this time... I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I accidentally ran? Let's, uh... Let's hide behind here, actually. This hiding place looks good. Yeah, so he's gonna be on heightened alert at this point. After being pepper sprayed. I hope they can't see me here. I feel like I would I would see you, because you're kind of really well illuminated. But, I mean, if it's marked as a hiding spot, then I suppose it's effective. Alright, so, uh, what did I get? A modern game with all the trappings of a great 90s arcade cabinet. Mutants. Post-apocalyptic environments. Killer co-op. I like to imagine nuclear throne machines lining every laundromat and corner store. Disaffected youths pushing grannies out of the way, <laughs> placing quarters to claim their spot in line. The developers at Lambier are the true wasteland kings. <laughs> okay, so it's a reference to a game. So kind of just an Easter egg thing. I guess there's a bunch of them. Japan had the sense. Already heard that last time. Uh, do I have something else new? What else do I have here? Musical inventory. Wait, I thought I had another book. Where did the other one go? Wait, oh wait, did I never pick it up? In here? No, I did. Oh, I never picked it up in her room. Oh, because the save point wasn't for that point. All right, let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I've gone ahead and done the stuff I did before at the end of the last episode. All right, so they went ahead and raised the threat level. So they're going to be a little bit more active in searching for me. Okay, threat level went back down. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to last long. Uh, what is inside of here? Hmm. Guess somebody's packing up. There's something there, a uh, tape. He 
Look what your arrogance has wrought. You are destroying the things that make your life meaningful. You are doing this to yourself. And unless you tell me where you have hidden that manifesto, I will accelerate that which you have already chosen to inflict upon yourself. Please, Rack, take this precal to confinement. I was just looking at my numbers, said Prizrak interrogates 310M, and I'm 390H. Multiple charges of arson and possession of contraband. exactly where I want to go. Come on, get out of there. Nothing to report. Mm, let me try to pickpocket him as he walks away. Did you go? Assuming he does walk away. Oh, oh. Let's go for the steel. There we go. Go for it. This looks like an old cassette tape. You may find this difficult to believe, but I am actually old enough to remember when these were popular. I remember seeing an old boombox when we ransacked one of Zager's hideouts. However, with the facility's new censorship system coming online, I suspect most of this Zager end will be suppressed. The man enjoyed his salty language, to put it mildly. So can I actually listen to it? Oh, I, I think I can. And oh, this is what I just got from the guard's pocket. They call Super Hexagon a Twitch game. I doubt even Doc Holliday had quick enough reflexes for this one. I've never gotten farther than 3.5 seconds. It's intense. I don't know if that's because it gives me vertigo, or because of the ominous lady shouting game over every time I die. I don't actually think it's much of a Twitch game. Uh, it's more of a hitbox thing. There are. F I already read that from before. That's what I got from uh, her room. All right, let's uh, listen to the tape. If you find a cassette player, perhaps you could hear what is on it. I remember seeing an old boombox when we ransacked one of Zager's hideout. Wait a minute, you mean you can't just, like, enhance the image on the tape and just read the magnetic fields? Damn it. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Man, I just want to go back and pickpocket every guard that I saw before now. NTR. By the way, all these guards look so lanky. Like, they're they're extremely thin and tall. They look a bit strange. They almost seem slightly... ghoulish. Everything looks good. Oh wait, actually, that might have been my chance to get around him. I, I mean, how else am I going to get over here? Yeah, I've got to wait for him to go back in. I love that you can see like the pathfinding nodes that he that he goes on are kind of messed up, and there's like two of them right there. Place is quiet. Like moves to the side. 
and then tries to make up his mind again. one of the tech crews to run a full diagnostic of the metal detectors in the facility. But I want you to oversee the work on your station personally. There are too many potential hiccups that could be had in the commissary. And with the arrival approaching so quickly, I'm looking to you to shore up the weakest link. If you need any additional resources, you let me know. So they're very worried about the arrival. It sounds like they want everything to be perfect before the arrival. I still don't know what that is. Is that the arrival of maybe somebody who's going to inspect the facilities? Some sort of higher up, uh, a king or a queen or something? Maybe not literally a king or queen, but you know, somebody who's very particular and needs to be appeased. Oh, is this a little storeroom? Ooh. I could go right now. Nope, too late. It's okay, I should be able to sneak behind him. You have just found a new battery for the girl's phone. Some Omniview abilities require battery power, and will not work when the girl's phone is not well charged. You will probably find more batteries lying around this facility. You may also recharge the phone at a demon server or inside confinement rooms. This may come in handy. Now I'm assuming he doesn't actually come into here. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't. Okay. Is he gonna see her here? I... You know what, that's... This is kinda stupid. Go back. It's not worth taking the risk. Just wait for him to go off to the side. And we're good. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Oh, it's to temporarily turn it off. Well, no need for that. Wait a minute, I didn't pickpocket this guy, did I? Oh crap, I've got to pickpocket him. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 stay, stay, stay. This guy might see you going up the stairs.
Nice, 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 nice. When I play Kentucky Route Zero, I'm transported to my childhood. I can smell the coffee-stained computer in my father's home office. Conway's surrealistic point-and-click adventure is something best experienced on a quiet Sunday morning. As the sunlight pours into the room, I wonder when the developers at Cardboard Computer will release the next episode. I don't mind waiting though. Every new episode is a gift. They do certainly take their time releasing the episodes. But from what I've heard, it's a very, very good game. I'm probably going to play it at some point. Probably when the uh, the whole thing is complete. Also, this is really weird. This game has a very strange amount of gamey stuff. Between the, uh, basically collectibles and power-ups and the fact, that, the fact that you can sell information on the market and purchase upgrades and... You can pickpocket guards and find a bunch of references to other real games? I don't know what to make of it. I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's also kind of like, what the hell were you thinking? I don't know, there's just so much silly stuff that's kind of mounting up, I... I'm having a little bit of trouble taking the game seriously. And don't get me wrong, I still want to pickpocket the guards, even if I'm just getting a little disc that doesn't have any... doesn't really gain me anything. I still want to do it, just because I'm curious. But, I, I don't know, it's weird. Looks like there might be two doors to the same place. I think that door might go to where this one goes to. Ooh, there's a book there. Alright, let's see if we can pickpocket him as he goes by. Wait, 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 is there somebody coming? Nope, we're good. Come on, I want to pickpocket you, come on. Going in for the steal. That might be a bad idea. This one's, uh, anti-chamber. Alexander Bruce describes his game as a mind-bending psychological exploration game, which sounds a lot more fun than the definitive test of whether you are smart or not. But that's why I like anti-chamber. It treats you like a functional human being, which also means you feel like an abject failure whenever you get stumped, like that one time I couldn't figure out how to exit the game. I I thought you just close the game with Alt F4. Isn't that the way everybody closes their games? It's like those warnings that pop up, especially on consoles. Don't shut down the console or anything like that when it's saving. But pro tip, that's exactly when you should shut it down. Try it sometime. See what happens. Okay, I can get out of here easily, but I want that book. 
I don't know, do I want to be a collection? Like a... This is the sort of game that's obviously trying to be very collectible. It's trying to put you in that mindset of, oh, there's so many things to collect. I don't know if I want to go along with that. Maybe I should just ignore it. But there could be story stuff related to that book. I think you need to come behind him, like when I was pickpocketing him. If I kept following him along, I think I could have been okay. Yeah, in fact, that's exactly what we need to do. Okay. Yours is mine. I'll check his pockets. No, don't check his pockets. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so this is the alternative entrance, right? Where the hell am I? Yeah, third door right here? Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay. The body is strange, librarian. Oxytocin and endorphins lead so many to mistake robotic chemical responses for emotional attachments. Worse, though, is what Burroughs promotes. He suggests deviant behavior as a mechanical way around the trappings of societal control. We cannot let people think their bodies are ways around the state. They must exercise the Republique with their bodies in everything they do. Everything. Throw naked lunch in the pile. That's interesting. So unlike the game discs that you find, which are just kind of like fun Easter eggs, these are they're actual books. But they're not just pointless collectibles. The little bit of audio that you hear is actually about the book itself and how it's at least so far, these are all banned books, so I'm assuming the rest are going to be banned books. So it always talks about what's the reason they're they're banning it, the reason they don't like it, the way it subverts the what they want you to believe. That's interesting. If the girl needs to circumvent a room full of Mm-hmm. Good idea. My battery was running low. Sounds good. Alright, let's see if we can afford the email hack thing upgrade. To my domain. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I have so much stuff. 850 space bucks. See anything you like. Read email exchanges. Yeah, let's grab this. Others are too expensive, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Alright, so what's going on in here? Criminal trespass. As opposed to a non-criminal trespass? Isn't a trespass by definition criminal? If it wasn't criminal, it wouldn't be a trespass. 
I don't know. Law is weird. Two guards. And that guard goes inside of there, so I can't just hide in there. Unless there's some, somewhere to hide inside of. Nope. No locker. I could just run past him, but I do want to pickpocket him. So when do I have a chance to pickpocket? Let's observe their patterns. Also, I'm thinking I'm pretty damn hungry. That looks delicious. Where's he turning? Is he turning all the way around, or what? What is he doing? I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, he's. I think he's gonna see me if I come around the corner. Going in for the steel. Got it. Nice, 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 nice. Nothing. Hold on, um, I need to get somewhere soon, because he's about to leave. This guy's gonna keep turning. Uh, where am I going? I didn't think this all the way out. Oh, there's a little crawl space. That sounds good to me, that's probably where I'm gonna go. It's that or here, but the crawl space would lead there. Okay, yeah, let's go through the crawl space. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're good. See what we got? Couple more. Tower defense games are a dime a dozen these days. But Kingdom Rush is the real deal. I wish I could tell you why, but I'm not a game designer. Well, I made a game one time. A game about a handsome, quiet guard who escapes from his horrible job. I call it Rogue Cooper. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention use this game as an educational simulator to show how diseases are spread. Pretty funny, considering the object of the game is to kill everyone in the entire world. That, and you can give your disease funny names like, Toxic Doo-Doo Syndrome. You can. It's true. So this is where I'm coming into, right? Into staff dining? Mm-hmm. Now, I thought I heard guards in here. I don't see anybody, though. No, I heard a door. Where? All way to somewhere. Hmm. What's in this doorway? There's no cameras in there. Nothing to report. Another one of these. Nah, no need to visit it then. Heading to the vent. We need a screwdriver to open this vent. Ah, I gotcha. Which I guess I could either find in the environment or perhaps on a guard. Probably in the environment, I'm assuming.
playing this game is very disorientating. I, I'm not even sure where I came from. I think I came from here. So isn't there another door? This one? What, what is that? What door is that? Oh, here's where I'm hearing the guard. Okay. Wait, is this back where I just came from? It is. What? I'm getting so turned around. Okay, this is where I need to go then. Yeah, that's not where I came from. Yeah, okay. Okay, so when I saw a bit of this game being played, this is actually the section that I saw, so I actually, I think I know the solution to this puzzle. The, the puzzle that I suppose I haven't even shown exists yet, but yes, there's some sort of a weird puzzle. Before we can look to the future, we must look to the one who will lead us there. I suppose that's the main hint. We must look to the one who will lead us there. The Overseer secures the bonds between us all. Only let him serve, and you will be served. So basically you have control over the paintings, and you can control which direction they look. And they all need to look towards the Headmaster, or the Overseer. So yeah, <laughs> when I saw that I thought, what the hell? Like, it's such a weird thing to have in this game. I didn't think too much of it at the time, but now that I've seen some of the other weird gamey stuff that this game has in it, it is very strange. Like, why is there suddenly a freaking painting puzzle? Why would anybody build a place... Why would anybody spend the money on actually implementing a painting puzzle? Can you think of how complicated that would be? To have mechanisms where you can actually move paintings around and switch the direction that they look, and it opens a secret chamber? I mean, what? The monopolist, you know. The civil engineer take wisely. The neighborly policeman gives there we go. the children time to settle down. It's just they really silly. Law and order with rare okay. discipline. Let's get out of here before she shows up. Yes, madame. Watch your step in there. She could be on. Come out, child. Make it easy on yourself. Whoops. Oh yeah, this should so they should upgrade my data security level. Here? What in the hell is this? Oh, this is it. The Omni upgrade. Oh.
Well, thank God Windows updates don't happen like that. I think I'd have a heart attack. It's over. Nicely done. You are one cool customer. Now you have the Omni software update needed to access the library door. I have set a new waypoint to lead you back to the atrium. Before going back to the atrium, I recommend unlocking a few Omni abilities at this terminal. Rat in a cage. Don't think I have enough to do anything new, right? Unless upgrading my Omni version gave me money? No, it didn't. What would you like? Leave so soon. There we go. Now I can. Open that door. And that is going to open up a lot of things, not just the way to the library. Oh, and there's a screwdriver. Which is probably a shortcut back to the area where the library was, right? I'm guessing. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. What did she just walk through? Oh, this is where I just was. It looked different from this angle. A screwdriver. These are great for opening vents, but they are flimsy and will often break. Hopefully, there's more than one lying around. A screwdriver. This should come in. Censorship AI to be updated, expanded. Profanity. An assault on young and old alike. Now that has gone too far. <laughs> you can have my right to privacy. You can have my booze and caffeine and chocolate. But when you take away my right to curse a blue streak, you leave me with nothing to say. For once in my job, I am absolutely speechless. Fake passports and foreign currency. The Overseer has an escape plan, even if the rest of us do not. And it's not a sin to have face fake passports and foreign currency? Hypocrites. Mr. Treglazov, Vice Admiral Matthews of the Pacific Fleet. Pacific? You're a long way from home, Admiral. So are you. If I'm to believe the rumors. First time in Washington, sir? Hardly. I was uh, told General Karnofsky was heading up this project. The general retired over the holidays. I'm overseeing now. From a military standpoint, at least. I see. Apologies if I seem hurried. I have a meeting with the new superintendent of the Naval Academy at one. That's in five minutes. Like I said. Well, it's hardly enough time to pitch my vision. I've... Um, so I've read over your evaluative study, and we've taken your recommendations into account. Is this a joke to you? Excuse me? Your security, the security of your country, is at stake. Now you listen here. I dedicate my life to the protection and security of the United States. If you think you have a better approach, we'll entertain it. But do not come in here and make threats. I've made no such thing. And try to muscle some wildly expensive cryptographic software through the door. You can pay today to prevent a catastrophe. Or you'll pay tomorrow to clean it up. Okay. That's a threat. Right there. You get out of my office. Now. Hey. Hey, Dolores. Yes, Lock the door behind him. I don't want to see Mr. Treglas off anywhere near this building again. You understand? What the hell? No, I'm here. No, he, he left uh, something on my desk. <laughs> no, I, I don't think we need the bomb squad. It's a, a pin. It's just a, like a lapel pin. I feel like there's some important information in there. So the headmaster was petitioning... 
a high up United States official? Like, trying to get him to, I guess, pay for some sort of cryptographic thing, some sort of protection. That's what I'm wondering, like, this facility, you know, this whole place... It's obviously all fascist and horrible, but how, how big is it? What is... Are we talking about an entire state, an entire country? Are we talking about just, like, one compound? Am I just part of a, like... A cult or something? I mean, how wide does this go? Well, I mean, there's newspapers, so it's gotta be more than just, like, a compound. It's gotta be something pretty widespread. And there's also foreign currency that I just found, which, and also passports, which implies that uh, it's not like some weird future where, like, the United States has taken over the entire world and it's all like one country. So there's other countries. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Because we all have a, we have a very limited view of what's going on. We're all kind of just stuck here, inside. I don't really have much of a, a wider view of, of events. Well, now that we just got a bunch of money, I might have enough to go get an upgrade. Welcome to my domain. Six fifty. Yep, that should be enough for the. Uh, what was it the guard patterns? Or the ping. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Lower press rack away from the trolls. Monitor press rack the troll notes. Uh, let's go with this. Come back anytime. There goes another good screwdriver. It already broke? What? Ah, uh, now there's a guard in here. Okay, well, I don't want this episode to run too long, so I think I should end it here, otherwise I'll end up being end up going for like an hour and a half or something. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.